Hey, I'm Gromp. How do you count to 69 in binary? Before I tell you the answer, first I'll explain to you how binary works so you can create any of your own funny numbers. However, if you don't care, skip to the number at the bottom of your screen to find out hassle-free. Before I teach you how to work with binary, let me teach you about a concept called positional notation, which is something you already know how to use. What the hecky is a positional notation, I already hear you asking. Those are, after all, two big words you've probably never heard before. Okay, let me answer your question with a question of my own. Do you know what the number 123 means? Why, of course, there's 123 of something, or 123 units. Exactly. If you're following along and you're slightly competent, you are able to determine that the number 123 means 123, rather than 6 or 9 or any other ridiculous number. But how? Well, my friend, you're using positional notation. Positional notation is a method of representing numbers. Unlike, for example, Roman numerals where v equals 5 and x equals 10, when you use positional notation, the same symbol can have different values due to its position in the number, or its digit. Each digit has different orders of magnitude. If we were to go back to our example number, 123, we know that the 3 in the first digit, also known as the 1's digit, has a value of 3, or 3 times 10 to the power of 0. The 2 in the second digit, or the 10's place, has a value of 20, or 2 times 10 to the power of 1. The 1 in the 100's place has a value of 100, or 1 times 10 to the power of 2. Once we add 3 plus 20 plus 100, we get 123. Theoretically, we could go even further to the thousands digit, but 0 times 10 to the power of anything is still going to be 0. Besides, you probably understand the concept by now. This is positional notation in the decimal number system, the system of numbers us normal people use in our everyday life. So now that you hopefully understand positional notation, what on earth does it have to do with binary? And more specifically, how to write 69 in binary? Binary is not unlike the decimal system. Positional notation is the backbone of both systems, however, binary has one big stipulation. It's a lot like this collection of lines. Modern art, if you will. It's simpler, but more confusing. Here, let me explain. As you might have already guessed, binary was designed to be used by computers. Unfortunately, the problem with computers is that they can only be in one of two states, on or off. This means that their system of numbers can only contain two different symbols, those symbols being 1 or 0, representing on or off respectively, with no in between. That is the textbook definition of binary. Two options. Yes or no. Okay, that's perfect, but how would someone actually make a number in binary? I'm really glad you asked that hypothetical me. It's quite literally as simple as 1, 2, 3. Or rather, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Let's break this down, shall we? I'll document all the information in this cute little graph here. The left side will be binary, and the right side is decimal. Of course, we start at 0, because we don't have anything. 0 is the same in every system of numbers. 0 is the burning, intrusive nothingness known as 0. It means nothing. It's a placeholder. Zilch. Nada. Nil. Why don't you make something with your life? Stop waiting around for something to happen to you. That'll never happen. All you'll be left with is zero. You can't multiply, divide, or put zero to the power of anything to give it value. But what you can do is add or subtract, therefore giving it a value. Let's start off simple by adding no more than one to our number. Sweet, now you have 1, which, just like 0, is also the exact same in both systems of numbers. Not off bad so far, you're getting the hang of this really quickly. How about you add one more unit to our number? Go ahead, you can do it. Oh wait, what's this? Oh yes, binary doesn't have enough symbols to allow for a 2. It's important to remember that you can't do anything more than on or off, 1 or 0. So now what do you do? I'll show you, but we must go back to the decimal system for the sake of example. 
Let me ask you, in the decimal system, what happens when you have 9 of something and wish to add one more unit to your number? You end up with 10 of that unit. Your 1's digit that used to contain 9, also known as 9 times 10 to the power of 0, overflowed, creating the 10's digit, giving the symbol 1 a value of 10, or 1 times 10 to the power of 1. This is the exact same in binary, but your number overflows into the next digit after 1, and your previous 10's digit is now known as the handy dandy 2's digit. In binary, 1 also means 1 times 2 to the power of 0. This means that 1 0 translates to 2 in decimal, because the 1 in the 2's digit is the same as 1 times 2 to the power of 1. That is how positional notation is used in binary. It might make more sense for you if I make this into a simple formula. n times 2 to the power of d minus 1, where n is your number and d is its position, also known as digit in the number, counting from right to left. In the decimal system, this formula would look like n times 10 to the power of d minus 1, and this is because we have 10 possible symbols to use in that system. So, using this information we just learned, let's finish off our cute little graph, shall we? We now know that 2 is 1 0 because of the handy dandy 2's digit, and we can assume that 3 is 1 1 because 2 plus 1, or 1 times 2 to the power of 1 plus 1 times 2 to the power of 0, is 3. So what, pray tell, might 4 be? Simple, that is 1, 0, 0. Once again, our previous number overflows into the next digit, creating the 4's digit. This pattern continues, giving you an 8th digit, a 16th digit, a 32nd digit, and so on indefinitely. You can now make any number with binary. Well, unless you skip to this point of the video without watching anything prior, in which case, I understand, binary is confusing. Anyways, 69 in binary is 1000101. Go write that on your binder or change your name to it. Just don't vandalize or anything with it, kiddo. However, before you leave, I can still teach you a really cool and thankfully simple trick relating to binary. You know how to count with your fingers, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Well, that's pretty limiting, because you can't really count to 69 on your hands now, can you? Actually, you can, and you will be after just this one simple lesson. Assume your fingers are the ones and zeros. Up means one, and down means zero. The finger, counting from right to left, is the digit. Using this method, you can now count up to 1,023 using nothing more than your own two hands. Which now means you've got enough fingers to count to 69 using binary. 1000101. 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. Anyways, I no longer have anything to teach you. Well, that's sort of a lie. I can get you started by showing you creative ways to use this new method of hand counting. These fun numbers include 4, 5, 128, 640, 645, 420, 22, and 16. Have fun with this new knowledge, and thank you so much for checking out the video. I also want to give a huge shout out to Pandemonium Art. She was the one who did all the art for this video, including my new profile picture. She didn't make the generic stock pictures I used, but yeah, you can't win them all, fellas. Anyways, she does super awesome art commissions, and if you want to see your OC recreated in her extra high quality style, she can do that for you. I'll be leaving the link to her Facebook page in the description if you want to check out what she does. 